It is no secret that Google loves table of contents, since they can aid the reader in finding specific information in a long-length article, and save them time. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make a table of contents for your WordPress post and pages with help of a plugin. You can make this kind of table of contents easily. Let's see how you can make this kind of table of contents. For that, go to your admin dashboard first. Hover on the plugin, then click on the Add New Plugin for adding a plugin to the website. The name of the plugin is Top Table of Contents, but we will search by its company name. Type BoomDevs on the search option so that we will find that specific plugin easily. Now it shows all the plugins developed by BoomDevs. Here is the plugin which we were looking for. Although it has a less active installation because it's a new plugin, but I guarantee you that it has lots of features that no other plugin has. Then hit the install button. After installing, click the active the plugin. Now you can see an option on your dashboard named top table of contents, where you can find all the settings for make changing in your table of contents. Here we can see the first option is for auto insert, which means you can set functionality for inserting table of contents on your posts or pages. Let's click on the auto insert option on the post and see what happens. Here is the output. We can see the table of contents automatically inserted into the post. It is the default templates. You can change the look also. We will also talk about how you can change the look of your table of content. So stay tuned with us. The bad thing of auto inserting is that it will automatically insert before the content because it comes with Gutenberg blocks also. So let's disable the auto insert option and see how to add table of contents with Gutenberg blocks. So go to the edit mode first and insert the table of content wherever you want by adding the blocks. Search table of contents. You will find the blocks. Insert it into your post. And boom, here you can see the output. Now let's see what other options are available on the table of contents setting page. As we see the first option is auto insert. This allows us to set the table of contents automatically on any pages or posts. The next is setting is general. Let's see what's inside the general setting. The first option in the general setting is content visibility. By default, it is on. You can off this if you want. What is this option for? If you off this option, then the content of your table of contents will be hidden. That means the table of contents will be in a folded mood. Let's see how it looks when this option is off. Here you can see the content is hidden. If you click on the table of contents, then the content will appear. Let's set the option on and go to the next option which is width. It can be set according to your convenience. I'm setting 80% to show you how it changes. Here we can see the changes. The next one is padding. You can also change this if you want padding on any side of your table of contents. I'm setting 25 padding on every side just to show you. Here is the output. Let it be the default value. You can also change the margin value. Here also you can find the option for changing the color. Borders can also be customized according to your preference. 
I'm just setting up a 2 pixel border to show you. You can set it as you want. Also, you can change the color of the border. I'm setting the default one. Next, you can change the border radius. Also, have the option to change the box shadow opacity and color option. The next setting is generator configuration which allows you to choose which heading will be your top heading. If you set the top level heading to H3 then the H1 and H2 will not be shown in your table of contents. You can also exclude some headings also. For example, you don't want to show the H6 heading. Then you can exclude the H6 heading from this section. Basically, these were all the settings of the general section. The next setting is title settings. In the title setting, the first option is to show the title. By default, it is set to on. If you don't want to show the title, then you can turn off the setting. I just turned that off and see no title is showing here. So usually every people keeps it on. But you can change the content if you want. You can also change the typography if you want. Set the font size or line height as you want. You can also set the background color of the title if you wish. Although it's not suiting here, but if you change the background color from general then it will look good. Let it be the default. You can also change the title text color. You can change the color regarding your theme color. I'm just setting a color. Let's set the blue color. Here is how it looks. You can also set the hover color. The padding and margin option for the title is also available here. Also, the border radius option is here. The next important setting is for toggle options. Show toggle option is on by default. You can also off this if you don't want to show toggle on your table of contents. Here you can see it's not showing the toggle option. Now let's go to the heading section. First option is list the style. You can change the list style as you want. By default, it's set to the number but you can change it to the disk or set none for the list. None is suitable in my opinion. You can choose what you like most. The next option is for word break. You will find two options. One is word break, and another is truncate. Then comes typography. You can play with the font style, font size, line height, and text align. Then the option is for padding and margin. I personally recommend you not to use padding or margin in this section. Here you can change the color of your text or hover color. This was all about the heading option. The last settings option is Permade Themes. There are already four Permade Themes available to use. You can whichever you like most. By default, the first theme is set. Which is quite good I think. Not to worry you can change the theme. I am changing the theme from the default one to the second number. Let's refresh the page. 
Here's it, the second pre-made theme which you can use. Definitely, you can also edit this theme. You can change the font or font size or font color whatever you want. All the options which I had shown before you can do it with this theme also. Let's see the third theme by activating it. It's also great looking. I personally like this one. Let's do a little bit of customization to this. Let's change the font size. It looks perfect, right? Let's turn off the content visibility. Wow, it looks great. Let's go to the fourth theme which is also like the second one. You can also customize this one. Now let's see how you can insert a table of contents in the Gutenberg block. For that in the editing mode just add blocks of a table of contents. Here is it. Now update and see table of contents has been inserted. Also if you want to use it on any other page builder then you can also use the short code. Let's see what the short code is. Here is the short code. Or you can go to the documentation page from the plugin page. On the documentation page, you can find the short code. Let's use the short code here. Here we can see we inserted a table of contents with a short code. I have told you all about the plugin. I think you will not find any other plugin which proves such this kind of feature. So go now and start using this plugin. So that was for today. Make sure to like and subscribe now if you enjoyed the video.